so there are many ways of obtaining a physical fruit in Blox Fruits, and because I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna show you all of them, starting with this one. All right, we got Zeolus, the Blox Fruits gacha here. You can spin for a fruit every two hours for the small price of 400,000. If you're max level like me, that's not cheap. Better give me something good, buddy. Ooh, sand fruit. So now you must be thinking to yourself, well, that was easy, right? But not for long. The methods only get progressively harder, and by the end of this video, I must obtain a legendary fruit from one of the methods that I show you today. Wish me luck. So obviously, uh, Zeolus, the Block Source Gacha, is not only in the first seed, but he's also in the second and third seed, but I'm not gonna show you the method three times for this video. Actually, yes I am. All right, spin number two in the second C. There's actually a lot of myths about whether the first, second, or third seed Zeolus gives better fruits. I don't know, I just hope I get a better fruit than the sand. Here we go. What? All right, we know what we're getting for the third seed, don't we? Dude, I swear I thought I read sand for a second. We got this spike! Uh, so in conclusion, uh, about which C gets better fruits, first and second C are equal, and the third C sucks. Alright, let's continue on to the next method. Method number two! We're back in the second C, but uh, you could do this in any C, really. Is by going through the Blocks Fruit Dealer. Now you might say, and you, this is not a physical fruit you could hold in your hand. But very much like a physical fruit, you could only use it once. Not like a permanent. So if you don't want to count this, that's totally fine. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the stock. We got Kilo, beautiful spin, chop, the monster trio of Blocks Fruits. I mean, what else could you ask for? This is the best stock ever. Yeah, so if you're like me, you might find all three Kilo, spin, and chop to be in stock at the same time. If you're unlucky, you might end up with like a leopard or dragon or something that nobody cares about. Um, but let's go ahead and buy the Kilo for 5,000. I can't do that because I already have the permanent. But let's just pretend uh, that I wasn't super rich and I don't have the permanent permanent already, then why well, I can just buy it for 5,000 of the in-game currency. So there you go. Next method, we're gonna be trading for physical fruit, but we have to use the three fruits that we got from the gacha. Not the most sought after fruits I know, but uh, let's see what we could get out of them. All right, you can have the sand and yo, here, I'll even toss in a spike. That's a sweet deal. You gotta take that deal. Hey, y'all, come look at this. Okay, I accept. Nope. Fight. Now, why would you put those fruits down just to leave? Okay, forget that guy. Maybe this guy is lucky enough to take our sand. Oh, nah, bruh. Right, how about this one? How about this one? Oh, nah, man. I can't do it. Can't do it. This is tough. Let me cop a squaring Goku. Oh, he dropped a kilo. All right, this guy is trading within my price range. Love to see it. Let's put down a spike for him as well. Okay, you, you can't take the spike. That's all good. How about just a, just a sand? What could you give me for just a sand? You're gonna have to do better than that, man. Oh, okay. We got four fruits for the price of one. How could I say nope. no? Bruh. Got Alright, you, right, you want to try that again? I'm gonna give you one more chance. Don't mess it up. This is the best trade you're ever gonna get in your life. All right, you know what? I don't have time for this. Get out of here, man. Okay, Bacon, please come through. What do you want for the sand, bro? For the dark. Yes. Oh my God, Bacon, finally. Thank you. I love you. Mwah. You're the best. Yes. Okay, guys. Well, we did obtain a dark fruit. Congratulations to us. Let's move on to the next method. It's better than the sand, all right? Don't talk shit. And also, another way of obtaining a fruit is by breaching the factory. And, uh, well, what do you know? It just started. So for this one, we're gonna go with a Buddha just to deal the maximum amount of damage possible. And let's put on the CDK. Now, so to get a fruit from factory, you must deal the most damage to the factory uh, during a raid. I'm lucky because I'm in a private server, but if you're in a public server, you might run into somebody who's a lot better than you and deal more damage and steal that fruit. But here we go. Let's see what we're gonna get now. Uh, it's almost dead. Um, love killing inanimate objects that can't fight back. It feels great. So yeah, see, you got a, a random blocks fruit for dealing the highest damage, and well, what do you know? It's a diamond. I know exactly what to do with this. Boop. 
But how about a factory raid in a public server? How would that go? Let's find out. Hold on, stop. Just stop, bro. Oh, Yo, I'm, I'm just bodying everybody. Killing the factory and everybody in the server. Stop, let me go. Okay, little buddy, relax. I'm about to kill you too. Who, you, who the hell you think you're messing with, man? This is free bounty. Oh my god. My god. Let's go. Bro, another diamond? Whatever. All right, next, we're gonna be just finding a fruit that randomly spawns on the map. During the regular weekdays, they spawn every hour and on the weekends, every 45 minutes. Now, there are two ways of doing this. The easy way, fruit notifier, costs 2,700 Robux, but tells you exactly where the fruit is. The hard way, without the fruit notifier. So, you kinda just gotta guess. Let's try out both ways. So, we're doing the first attempt of finding the fruit with the fruit notifier. Let's see what we get. Right, I'm gonna guess it's over at Skull Island. Absolutely beautiful guess, as always. Oh, I see it off in the distance. Uh, is that a flame? Oh my god. I told you guys. I'm a genius. What can I say? But hey, now let's go ahead and try to find one without the fruit notifier. I'm gonna go to a few popular spots where fruit spawn and uh, let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. All right, so I'm currently on my alt account. There is no fruit notifier, but fortunately we do have a portal fruit where we can use to teleport us to places where fruits may spawn. So the plan is I'm gonna head back to Skull Island to where the fruit typically spawns there and basically server hop until I find a fruit there. All right, it could take a minute. It could take a whole day. We don't know, but let's find out. Do you guys see anything there? Is there anything there? Uh, probably not. All right, let's move on. Server number two. So I'm gonna say the numbers uh, just so at the end uh, we know how many servers it took us to find the fruit. Uh, don't look like there's anything there, eh? All right, we're on server number 69. Uh, this has got to be it. If this is not yet, I don't even know if it's possible. It's not it. Damn it. Much, much, much later. All right, boys, this is server number 78. And oh, I think I see something. That, my eyes do not deceive me. That is a fruit. That's a sand fruit. Whatever, we'll take it. New title unlocked. Blessed one? Huh? Well, that is. Blessed one, find a fruit. <laughs> Well, there you go. We found the fruit, guys. Congratulations. Only took about like half an hour, so it wasn't too bad, honestly. So we're about to hop out the alt and get back on the main and um, find more fruits. Maybe there's more blessed one titles out there for us, huh? So while we're still in the second C, I'm going to show you guys a way where you could obtain a physical mythical fruit guaranteed every time all right none of you guys know this what am i saying you probably already know this you're all nerds but let's go ahead and head on over to this what do you call this the little platform little mountain thing and go to where you upgrade uh your race there's a cutout on the wall we just head on straight through there's arrow we're gonna ignore him completely we're here to talk to winlock toe the doghouse wolf wolf yo bro want to buy a physical kilo for 97 robux what did i tell you man mythical every time just gotta spend a little bit of robux give me that thing best 97 robux i've ever spent i don't know about you guys but yeah here's the kilo fruits we got another one guys we're not gonna count this as the challenge being complete because i did purchase it obviously that would be cheating let's go ahead and store that though and uh let's head on over to the third c because what if one physical mythical kilo is not enough what if i want two don't worry i got you guys uh, if you head on over to the third c and uh to where the forest pirates are you'll find that there's another dog house what's up one lock give me another kilo baby let's get it hell yeah man two mythicals in one minute uh you guys can't beat that deal this is too sweet go ahead and store that as well and now we have officially 56 kilos not bad but not nearly enough we got to collect more so the next method I'm about to introduce to you guys is of course the pirate raid on the sea castle. Very much similar to the factory raid. All you gotta do is deal the most damage and you'll get the fruit. It's very simple. So my understanding is usually happens uh, around once every uh, hour and 15 minutes and 
just right on time. The server's been up for one hour, 15 minutes. So we're gonna go back with the Buddha build. It's just, it's the easiest. And of course, the CDK. Bring it on, you filthy pirates. Hey, what happened? Yeah, yeah, come get it. So once again, I'm in a private server, so I'm guaranteed to get the fruit. But if you're in a public server, you might not be so lucky. I got Cash here with me. He's just chilling. Obtain ah. leather. Did I just skin these pirates for their leather? That's kind of messed up. More vampires. This is, uh, what is this thing? This is... 12 seconds later. Wait, out of where did I get this quake fruit? Wait, I got rewarded the fruit before I killed the last pirate? We got a legendary, baby! Let's go! Oh my goodness! Alright, so quake is a legendary fruit, but I haven't even done all the ways of obtaining a fruit yet, so why don't we make this challenge a bit more difficult and go for two legendary fruits? Let's get it. So now I'm on a boat. Um... <laughs> And we're gonna do the ship raid. All right, so ships are gonna spawn on me randomly as I sail around the oceans. I, I think it's random. I don't think there's a pattern to it. And you pretty much gotta destroy their leader, the brigade, for a very small chance of obtaining a fruit. To be a little more precise, it is actually 10 to 20% chance. So luck is not on our side, especially not me. Knowing my luck, it's gonna take us a many, 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 many ship raids. Come aboard and bring along all your hopes and dreams. Together we will find everything that we're looking for. One piece. Bro, I've been sailing longer than Luffy trying to find the One Piece and there has been no pirate raid. Here we go. We finally got it. Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm using the wrong fruit. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to switch to the leopard to kill the... Where's my... What the... Wait, what? Wait, how am I... What was that? Well, um, that was a fail of epic proportions. Let's try that again. All right, another ship raid. We pretty much we just gotta kill the brigade, but we're gonna we're gonna destroy everything because they're killing my ship. I won't let them get away. Oh my god, I'm drowning! Woo! Woo! Okay, maybe just maybe a uh, leopard is not the best idea. All right, get out of here, bro. Die! Oh, what? What? Bro, I kid you not, that was the first attempt. I did not uh, expect to get a fruit, especially a life fruit. That's pretty good. We'll, we'll keep that, of course. So the final method of obtaining a physical fruit, which is also the most difficult, um, I know that because I tried, is getting somebody to drop a fruit for you. And how do you do that? Well, you bag. And that is why we have to go into the first sea because, well, everybody bags in the first sea. So I could kind of just blend in, you know? Uh, I'm on my alt account. Please, fruit, I bag one, two, three from the video where I literally bag for fruits. Let's just go right into it. I'm pretty good at this. I've Wait, what? Did I just speed run that? This guy said, eat, I give to you. Hey, look, bro, I appreciate it, but I'm not eating this. There's no way. It tastes disgusting. It's a Walmart Falcon. I'm gonna go store it and hopefully he doesn't see. Oh, I already have it stored. Wait, he left. Okay, so now I don't feel bad about dropping it back. We did obtain a fruit, but that doesn't feel satisfying enough. I didn't actually have to beg for it. So why don't we go ahead and try to beg for one? All right, boys, we got a lot of people in here. Please fruit, I beg. There's five of you. Oh, he got the kilo. Drop it to me, drop it to me. Oh, we got the kilo, baby. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna store that too. You know what? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe begging for fruit is pretty easy. We're gonna give that mythical kilo back to that guy and let's go see if we could get something else. I'm feeling nice right now. Please, fruit, I beg. Looks like Zoro skipped too many leg days. Why is your arm twice the size of your leg? Bro, stop. We know you're in you. Wait, what? He's seen the video. Yo, we've been exposed. We not the dumb. Wow, with that type of grammar. 
Yeah, another Zoro. Please, fruit. I beg. Wait, wait, hold on. You didn't even let me finish begging. Bye, have a great time. Oh, see you never, Zoro. Please, fruit. Please, please, sir. Please, please. You know what? Maybe I took that Walmart Phoenix and the Kilo for granted because, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to get a fruit by begging. Yo, what's up, little cinnamon toast crunch guy? Place fruit. Oh, he going for a spin? He's doing it. Bruh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, I can't let him see me uh, drop the fruit, so I gotta go. Stop right there. Oh, no, he's following me. Oh no, the pressure's on. I gotta switch servers before he catch me. He's telling me to eat it. No, 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 I'm not eating this. Hell no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yo, yo, hey, hey, yo. Hey, yo, right here. Yeah, 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 boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> you know what? I don't blame him. That guy look like uh, he's a noob just like me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and up our bagging game. Here we go. Oh, we just can't get away from the Walmart Phoenix. We're cursed. Well, unlike most shameless beggars in the first C, I will never accept a free fruit without saying the simple thank you. Apparently, that's too hard for most of y'all begging in the first C. But also, I'm not going to keep it, so I feel kind of bad. But what the hell, boy? Somebody call the cops. This, uh, Diolis, bro, that's sus. I don't know what the hell you're trying to do out here. There are kids playing this game, bro. What are you doing? Put some damn clothes on. Please, Ray. Yes! Yes, we did! Okay, you know what? Is it more expensive than the Walmart Phoenix? No. But is it better? Yes. I'll, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Thank you so much. I can't keep on begging anymore. Uh, it's taking a toll on my mental health. But here's the thing. We got three fruits, Falcon, Kilo, and Spring from begging, but none of them were legendaries. And I said that I was going to get another one after obtaining the Quake from the Pirate Raid, and we're going to do just that. Let's continue on the hunt. So now I'm going to open up my private server, wait for a fruit to spawn. Meanwhile, I'm going to server hop some pirate raids in the third sea. So I'm going to let y'all in on a secret. Uh, this is a pretty popular spot for fruits to spawn in the first sea, like right around this area, if you guys were ever out looking for them. Also, uh, in the third sea, I know there are a few common spots where fruits typically like to spawn, usually one around here. Doesn't look like we got one though. Man, not so much luck on the pirate raids. Guess they're uh, they're pretty rare, huh? All right, so after a long while of hunting for fruits, a fruit actually did spawn in my private server, and we got a legendary phoenix, baby. Let's go. But here we go, guys. After countless of hours of searching, we finally found the legendary, and the challenge is officially complete. And you best be sure I'm storing this. Give me that. Well, there you have it. Not only did I show you every single way of obtaining a physical fruit in Blocks Fruits, we exceeded our challenge by obtaining two legendaries. So you gotta drop a like for that, come on. And while you're down there, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the post notifications for more dope content. And in the meantime, be sure to join the Discord server along with my Twitter and Instagram. All of that is in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.